Hi, I'm Sylvie from the two meerkats, here with my Africa Twin DCT, which I love and we've been on lots of adventures together. But today I wanted to talk to you about the park brake that Honda gives you and how I've adapted it to be a hand-operated brake for slow speed technical riding. This is my first DCT and a bit of a beast, but not my first beast. Previous beasts I've controlled by feathering the clutch, but of course I can't do that now. So to introduce a bit of drag, I now have a hand-operated brake. I still wanted to use the park brake, and I can. What I did was modify it so that the lever was in reach of my hand while I'm riding, and I kept the functionality of the red warning light. The standard position for the park brake from Honda is right back here, but by introducing a blocker on the back of the bark buster, I'm able to reach the lever with one finger. The blocker is a piece of 25 by 25 mil box section aluminium. 32 mils tall on the high side of the slot. A single M5 bolt attaches it to my left bark buster. For the red park light switch, I added an M3 by 15 bolt, drilled and tapped at a slant angle to activate the micro switch as soon as my brake lever is pulled. The way I use this is to introduce some drag with one finger. Using really fine movements in combination with the throttle, you can get really good control at low speed. This took some getting used to, so what I did was I moved it to the second position. I adjusted the cable so that the rear wheel stopped turning when it was on the center stand. And I knew that then I'd cancel out the DCT. These are the rear foot brake pads, these are the rear hand brake pads, and as you can see, there's quite a difference in the size. Originally I thought my two Meerkat's hand-operated brake mod would wear away the smaller cable pads of the second caliper, so I kept a spare set of pads handy. In fact, they've lasted for ages with low wear, as I only use the brake with one finger pressure below 20 km per hour in technical situations. Like anything new, try my mod at your own risk, bearing in mind it's easy to unbolt and reverse to factory setup if you don't like it. Hey guys, if you like this video, press subscribe down below and I'll make more for you.